cap. Then you pull this and it dumps out. Okay. So this one has water from the sink and the fridge. Okay. If there's any condensation in the fridge. Yeah. So that, that's what this tank holds. So this one will always be pretty full. Okay. And it might actually have a little bit of food part of this because it's from your sink. Right. The other side, which opens and does the exact same thing, is from melted ice only. So that water is actually really always right. clean if you have any. Catch that and water your plants with it. Exactly. <laughs> So the way that works is, you know, usually this is empty, but you fill this whole area up with ice. Right. And then you put your drinks in it. I mean, anything else if you want really cold. Like up here we had chips and stuff like that, candy or whatever on this shelf. And we also had some picnic blankets here, which people really found cool. We had, like got okay. at Walmart cheap. But so if it's a nice day and there's grass area and so like to grab a blanket, eat the lunch, put it back. It's a cool thing to offer. Um, these are just covered with, you know, you can take it off if you want the extra ones, the clear. Oh, okay, clear. okay. This part, this is that other cold plate from that other compressor. So if you want to actually have this area really cold, because you can put ice under it too, but if you want this really cold place, you can put that and plug that fridge in too and get this thing to ice up and keep stuff yeah. pretty cold there. I mean, Which is it, you block this off? No, that's that coffee thing that we were talking about. Oh, yeah, they yeah, kind of made it into a seat. There, there used to be a coffee maker there oh, at some okay. point. I don't know, they took it out, whoever had it before, but apparently it was. <laughs> You know, they might, they, I'm sure it was just calcified. And right, out. right. Never have good coffee off of this anyway. But we have, and I'm giving you that too, uh, like a 60 cup coffee urn, percolator, you know, a pro model, whatever. So if we ever did coffee, we just basically made that, plugged okay. it in, and then brought it with us. And you got hot coffee all day. Yeah, hot coffee, and it's good coffee, and it's not, you know, this thing's trying to percolate, you know. I mean, you can. Right. Are those speakers for a radio or for a... They are for radios, if, never work If you got like a microphone to call to somebody's to number or name. I have a megaphone if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as I know, they've never worked. We never used them. Right. The okay. radio itself, I can't seem to get work. I mean, you could put in a stereo system. It's not a hard Right. Um, so outside lights. Those are the ones that we turned on earlier. Tell some Dad. Mom? I mean, Dad. Okay, so that, I'll show you that. Hold on one second, dude. So over here is where you fill your fresh water tank. Little thirsty over here. Inside here, it's got a, you know, a one-way valve. So you plug your hose in here. Okay. Turn it on. You just let it go, and it's going to fill 40 gallons, like I said. You'll know when it's done because that snorkel thing just starts spewing Spit out water. Out. Okay. So once that starts okay. spewing water, you've got it out. All right. You know, you're full. So Joseph, girlfriend stands about four foot oh, back yeah. while like, you're filling it. <laughs> and whoosh. Right on her head. Um, it's got the tow hitch, and that's where we hitch in the, um, the generator. I'll show okay. You that. So that's how you fill the tank. It's like one of those little plug-in tow behind things, uh, Harbor Freight Cells yeah. or Home Depot or whatever. I think I got it online, but yeah, it's right here. Sorry. Oh, okay, perfect. So much to eat. What I suggest doing, and I never got around to it because I said I'm going to dolly, is go ahead and just put four wheels from Harbor Freight yeah. on the corners, and that way you can wheel this thing around everywhere, and then you get over there, and it just takes two people, but you lift it up, slide it in. Um, Let me go get it. Is the car open? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah. I said, I've got that one from Harbor Freight, that 6,000. It's like... In a garage right now, we won't be having a conversation. Exactly. So, uh... <laughs> smoking you out, aren't Yeah. Um, it'll go quite a while, you know. Yeah, at full bore, it'll still go six, eight hours on a tank. Yeah, right. It'll go over 11 hours on just... What was that, eight gallon tank, or...? I don't know what it holds. It's got a little gauge up here. Okay. Oh, because it's just right. But, um... So, what, when we use that... You're basically, you know, you have it hanging on the end yeah. here, and all you're doing is running your plug just into, into here. Oh, okay, okay. To run your fridge. I mean, just the only to plug time, in right there. Yeah. Perfect. So the most time you'd be using that is if you're out for more than a couple of hours, mm -hmm. and they don't have anywhere where you can plug in. Because a lot of times, like when we're at breweries and stuff, they just we just bring our right 100 foot cord with us and plug in wherever. But if they don't have it, I mean, they like a brewer, do they charge you for that, or no. they, they want you out there, service, yeah. you know, uh, feeding yeah. their people We've so they'll drink that, more? You know, even when we do uh, any office events, anywhere where there's a plug, we usually just utilize their thing rather than our. Right. But if we're at an, like an all-day event and it's a food truck gathering and it's going to be going for eight, you know, that's yeah. what you're doing. You're plugging the cord from there into here, 
And the same thing, just running your fridge off it. Nice. Um, this is where you regulate, you know, your fridge thermometer. It's okay. a thermostat for your fridge, so usually keep it at 42 or 40, I mean 40, 40, you know. It's not precise, but it's enough. Right. Um, so that's what we use that for, but it also, you know, has a couple outlets, plus it has a 30 amp. So, you know, if you want to also plug in, you know, and do a blender or right. anything else off it, you can. So I just leave it there and it's nice because it can run, it's on the back. Yeah. No one even, it's quiet enough, but when it's back here, no yeah. one even knows you're running it. Exactly. It takes regular gas. On this, you just un unlock it and it lifts up. That's just so when you're spraying it, hosing out your truck.